Okay, I'm going to do the basic yoga routine. The important thing to remember is to stay relaxed. Uh, when you move into a new posture, try to relax into it as much as possible and catch your breath in every posture. You know, try to bring the breathing back to an even breath. It should take about half an hour. And uh, relax and breathe, especially breathing out. You're going to breathe out a lot of toxins. Start off on your back, of course. You're not going to do the sun salutation, but start on their backs. Once again, you want to relax and get into your body and follow your breathing, especially out, the out breath. And you can do this for as long as you want. It's called the dead man's posture. Palms up. And just lie, lie down and breathe. I'm going to go into the shoulder stand, which might be kind of difficult to get into. It might be kind of difficult to hold, but just try to get the idea. If you can't hold a posture, don't force it. Don't pull any muscles. Don't rip any muscles. Don't strain your muscles too much or your joints and ligaments. Just come out of it easily without any trauma. No pain, no gain doesn't apply to yoga. Shoulders down. Try to keep your legs perpendicular to the ground. It's important to do these postures in the order that I'm doing them. Now we're going to do what's called the fish. I don't know the name of all this one. It looks like it could be painful, but it really isn't, so don't be afraid. Catch your breath. When you want to roll on one leg, roll to the other and put your palms underneath your buttocks. And then kind of put your head flat on the ground. Can't talk in this position. Hold the postures as long as it's comfortable. When you feel the strain, then is the time to let go and move back to uh, whatever resting position or uh, position of ease you can get into at that time. Now the plow where we put our feet over the head and try to, t the ideal is to touch the ground behind your head with your toes, but I can't do that, so. I'll do the best I can do. I have to move up for this one. You should put your palms down now on the floor. If you have room, you can stretch your legs out. I don't have room, so what I'm going to do is come up like this. Put my hands behind my head and try to move that way and hold it.
move with your legs moving perpendicular to the ground. Take a breath. Make all your movements on the out breath. And on the in breath, you should just uh, stay still. And this is the wheel coming up. Your kids probably do this. You just want to make like a, a wheel with your body. Catch your breath. Relax. Be sure to be in your body. Let's get a move on the out breath. I can't hold that one. Next two, I don't know the names, but they're good for digestion. You want to stay as relaxed as you can. Palms down again on the floor or on your mat. Now legs up perpendicular again. Your knees should be coming toward your chest, and your head should be looking straight ahead of you. Not up, but straight ahead. And just relax, breathe, be in your body, sense yourself. And catch your breath, try to make your breath even and easy. Most of the strain you feel should be in your neck right now, in your throat. Up with palms down, legs down. Slowly. You might crack your back if you do that. As you notice, we do a posture, and then the following posture is kind of the opposite of that. stretches the opposite side. So, what we're going to do is a little more complicated than that than the last one. Put your foot, your feet uh, flat on the mat. Bend your knees so your knees are facing up, and your feet are flat. On and the out breath, you want to come up like this. Move your pelvis up and up till you're on your shoulders again. Now again, this is really different from the first one. But and hold it. Relax. Okay, I don't know if you can see that I put my legs back. Just about shoulder length apart on the relaxed on the uh, on the mat. Arms back up. Relax. Breathe. Sit up. I know I'm in the corner of the screen, but this should work anyway. You should be able to tell what I'm doing. 
legs straight out in front of you, right close to each other, but not touching. What you want to do is grab your ankles. <laughs> grab ankles, but near your ankles if you can't stretch. <coughs> you don't want to stretch your muscles too much. You want to, uh, to make them relax themselves. Looking straight forward. Then you can move. You know, uh, a little closer to your ankles. Move your hands closer to your ankles if you want. Now one leg at a time, put your foot against your thigh. Start with the left leg, looking straight ahead. Grab it near the ankle again. Then closer to the ankle, my hands are on my ankle now. You should feel a stretch, but not uh, anything painful, or ripping your muscles, or your tendons and ligaments. foot against the right thigh. Do the same thing with the right leg. Looking straight forward. Don't forget to relax. Do this one with your legs apart so they, to make a V. You want to put your hands out in front of you. So reach out so it's comfortable, you know, so you feel a little, a little pulled, but it should be comfortable. And look straight ahead. And breathe. And this way. I guess you get the point. Then you can stretch a little further. After a few breaths, you can stretch further. the feet together you're holding with your left hand on your toes and your right hand over your left hand and lean forward and you feel the stretch you feel it in your hips it's good if you're practicing giving birth a little further forward It'll be more comfortable. It'll be comfortable to move forward. Now we roll over on the belly. Palms down, and your chin resting on the mat. You should try to look straight ahead. Breathe. Now you're going to lift your leg just a little bit while you come up with your head and look straight forward. The important thing is to arch your back and look straight forward. And not to put too much strain on it. If you feel your back strain, come out of it. That was the left leg, now the right leg. Up a little bit and your head looking forward. Hold it. Now guess what? Both legs this way. Breathe. 
and relax in this position. It's harder to breathe in this position, but it's important to catch your breath. And both legs in up, looking directly forward. Head up, looking forward. Grab your left ankle with your right hand. Same thing, up, head up, looking straight forward. Just till you feel this, the pulls in your muscles, you know. Not much pain, if you start feeling any pain, let go. Right leg, right ankle, left arm. Relax. Now the whole bow, I think you can predict Take your left ankle in your left hand, right ankle in the right hand, and up and head forward, looking straight ahead. And don't strain. You might feel that in your lower back. When you start to feel the strain, let go. And I come up like this often to, uh, once again, head forward. Looking straight ahead, I have to catch my breath. I can't catch my breath in that position. We're moving along nicely. We're getting near the final postures. In Sanskrit, the word for pos uh, posture is asana, yoga asanas. Now start back down again. Don't try this from sitting up. Try to look straight ahead with your chin on the mat. Always straight ahead. And now up. This is the one that's good for your lower back, they say. The chiropractor or therapist will tell you. It's called the cobra. Get up on your hands and then look back. Don't go up and down like you're having sex. Look straight back. Not up at the ceiling, but even back. One more back. When you feel the strain, get out of it. Get out of that posture. Let's see. Now you're on your knees. Your spine is straight and your shoulders are just hanging there. Look about six feet in front of you on the floor. Catch your breath. You might find that you're breathing deeply and quickly. Your heart and lungs should be moving faster than usual. And you want to come back directly, well, as far as you can go, and hold it. Don't touch your legs with your hands. If you can't go all the way back. That's a tough one. But now it gets easier, we're almost done. <clears throat> Let's see. Oops. 
I'm just sitting cross-legged right now to catch my breath. Now you want to put your right foot under your left buttock and your left foot in, you know, to the right side of your right knee. Can you see that? Yeah. What you're going to do is turn and look as far left as you can. It'll actually be behind you to your right, if you see what I'm saying. So you want to push with your right hand. Right. The left hand is palm up behind you. And with the right arm, you want to push a little bit, not too hard so that you're straight, but enough. And look as far to the right side of your body as you can. Keep the tension in your right arm. You know, this is the the spinal twists. Keep the t keep your spine twisting, but relax the rest of your body. And breathe. Follow your breath the whole time. So you relax. You should be able to relax in each of these postures and find it easier to breathe. Now the left leg under the right buttock and the right foot to the left of the Left knee, right hand, palm up, the knuckles down behind you, and turn, twist. And relax. Remember to look to the right. So if you to your body's left. stand up when you're done with that one. Uh, I don't think I'm going to move the camera, the webcam. That's a bad spot on my futon. Now you want the, uh, the legs, you know, the feet about shoulder length apart. Let your shoulders hang. Keep your spine straight. Let your shoulders just hang on your spine. And look about six feet in front of you. Catch your breath. So it's easy and relax. It seems like you'd want to go through as fast as possible and you know, not worry about your breathing. Try to get the breathing to go as fast as possible. But you won't get the most benefit from that. You get the most benefit for your muscles and bones and also for your inner organs. You're relaxed now. Both legs out, so you're making a V with your legs. You want to lean, looking forward, lean over. Try to grab your ankle again. If you can't make it all the way up at once, near the ankle, in your arm, that's with your left arm, your right arm pointing directly towards the wall. Just hold it. Feel the strain in your in, in your inner thigh and there was the calf and thigh inside. And when it gets to be a strain, you should feel the stretch. When it gets to be a strain, go to the other side. Right hand on the right knee, left hand pointing towards the wall, and just breathe. Look straight ahead. You might lose your balance. You might find it difficult to balance. Try to balance. Now it's very, it's a, a little different. You want your left foot pointing out, right out towards the wall, and your right foot in the same position facing in front of you when the left is facing to the left. And you come down with your hands behind your back. You know, left hand uh, on the left side, right hand on the right side. Grasping, so you make like a, uh, a bow. I think this is called a bow. And look straight ahead. 
This is hard to balance them too, but it's worth it. So you feel the strain. You don't want to really work your muscles. You're not bodybuilding. You're just stretching. And then the opposite side. Right foot pointing towards the wall. Left foot still part. Basically pointing towards in front of you. Not in front of you now. You're perpendicular with your right foot and your hands are clenched behind your back. Look forward. Do you feel the strain? <coughs> Only one more. How about that? And it's the easiest. Oops. There we go. This is the easiest one of them all. Legs, feet, shoulder length apart, spine straight. Hold. Shoulders hanging on your spine. If you want to imagine a string coming up from your head uh, or coming down into your head, and you're just hanging on that string right through your spine and everything. Your arms are just relaxed, hanging there. Be sure to catch your breath here. Those last few postures were pretty tough on your breathing. So just catch your breath. And then come down with your palms. Try to touch the mat with your palms. If you can't, just your fingertips. And as you breathe a few times, you can probably stretch a little further. You'll feel this in the back of your knees, those tendons behind your knees. Come down a little more. Don't tear anything. And just hold it, breathe. as long as you want so you get uncomfortable so let me do that's it that's the whole routine 27 minutes 27 and a half minutes that's pretty good it's what it should be so good luck and when I say I see I acknowledge the divine within you namaste namaste